The heart space is a big project that's going to affect the map and building, the central wing and a brand new atrium between the two. What that will give us is first and foremost a place where staff and students can meet and work together. What we want to get out of that is a refurbishment, uh, a bringing back to life of our old buildings, our beautiful old buildings, the creation of a new space and so creation of more space. We've seen in the Information Commons and in the Diamond how great it is to have space for students to get together. I want to have the same thing for staff. So the Mappen building is a beautiful building. It's more than 100 years old. It, you cannot come here without thinking this is a place serious about engineering. But it is 100 years old. Now, that means a couple of things. Well, it needs refurbishing. We need to repair some of the old structure. But we also need to turn it into space that we can use now and for the next 100 years. In addition, we want to create a brand new space. Let me show you that. I'm standing on the corner of Mappen Street in Portobello. You can see the main entrance to Mappen there, and there's the new entrance from Portobello into the heart space. As we move down, you can see the Amy Johnson building, and here the end of the central wing, home to mechanical engineering. As we move into the building, you can see the reception and behind it, our new employability hub. We've created this hub to support our many students going on degrees with employment experience and to get our graduates into work. You'll see as we move through bridges spanning from the old to the new and back to the old again, making, we hope, a significant improvement on circulation and connection within the faculty. The cafe will provide, of course, food and drink, but it also provides a focus point for staff and students to get together. My hope is those staff will come from across the faculty, helping us to work even better together. As we climb the spiral staircases to the first floor or map and entrance level, you get some sense of the grandeur of the new atrium. You can see that we have sparkly new spaces, quite different from the renovated old space, supporting teaching and most importantly, research. We have labs in two new insert buildings. We see here the first of a number of open plan research spaces. The vision is that this space do for research what the Information Commons and the Diamond do for students in taught courses. Our expectation is that research groups will use these spaces regularly to explore the work they're doing within the group and I hope between groups. In many ways we see this as a version of the Information Commons or the Diamond for staff to work on research with PhD students and postdocs. From this floor, clearly we get a great view and behind us we have a research lab and in front of us, a new boardroom for the faculty. And you can see more of the excellent structure. The roof is substantially glass. Glass is, along with steel, a traditional Sheffield material and one of which we as a university have quite world famous expertise. And when we see the whole arrangement, we realise this will genuinely bring parts of the faculty together. It will create a whole of what has been hitherto separate buildings. Creating the heart space, refurbishing our buildings is going to be hard work. It'll be hard work for the builders, but it'll be hard work for us in the faculty. Many of us, including me, are going to have to move into temporary accommodation. And I know that that will be disruptive and will take extra effort. So I want to thank you for the effort you're going to take during this. 
I'm really convinced it's worthwhile. I'm convinced it's essential if we are to continue along our journey of being the best faculty of engineering in the country and I hope the world. So thank you.